my parents, my father, they were both lifeguards, and my father uh, was friends with, they were both friends with a bunch of wrestlers. And uh, and they would always talk about, my father never wrestled, but he was a uh, high school football coach, high school lacrosse, still coaches football. And um, they would always just talk about their friends that were wrestlers. They were friends with a bunch of wrestlers. They all lifeguarded down at the beach together. And they all spoke, like, the way they talked about their friends that wrestled was, like, a different, um, they just talked about their wrestling friends differently. Mm. And I think that kind of, like, made me gravitate towards uh, towards that. Um, my father would always say, nobody messes with Reggie Jones, you know? He's the toughest guy on the beach, you know? he's but but I would, And I would see his demeanor. He was, like, a humble guy. He was, like, you know, it was just... Uh, you could you could tell you could tell there's something different about those guys, and I think that's what kind of um, made me gravitate towards wrestling. Uh, obviously, you go through school, um, elementary school, bullying. You see bullying, and you're like, you never want to get bullied. Mm-hmm. And uh, I just yeah, I just always remember my dad saying, nobody messes with the nobody wrestles with the wrestlers. You know, they know how to they know how to handle themselves in a, in uh, in a fight situation, and then just like an everyday situation, how to uh, be, like, confident and humble. How old were you when you started? I started in seventh grade. Okay, and I know if you look around the country that, that where the wrestling where wrestling is its hot spots, it's East Coast and New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, it's California, it's the Midwest, Illinois, Wisconsin, Michigan, Ohio. Um, what was the scene like when you were a kid? And was it something you gravitated to right away and you knew this is something that I really feel is my path? I was pretty good on like the in like the middle school, uh, junior high school, like kind of those tournaments. I would do good. I, I uh, then I would go into like the summer tournaments and I'd get killed mm-hmm. in the beginning. And then like ninth, tenth grade, I was a little, uh, I was a little. I wrestled varsity, so I was younger, but I was um, kind of had. I, had like a 500 record or maybe going against tough, you know, tough guys. Like I was always in there against the tough guys. I would mm-hmm. always go in there against the county champs and give them like a hard match, mm-hmm. you know, but I would, I would, uh, I, I, w- I wasn't breaking through that. I went to Jay Robinson's 28 day intensive Ooh. camp. Yeah. I went there twice. I went there into my, uh, into my junior year and then into my senior year. And that just you went back me, again. I went back. You're again. an animal dude. <laughs> for the people at home that don't know. There's some crazy wrestling camp, camps around the country. I went to the Navy SEAL and uh, wrestling camp at, in Annapolis, Maryland, but that was only eight days. This crazy son of a gun went to a 28 day, like four workouts a day, right? Like yeah, a, it was like, it was like, uh, yeah, some days there were f- four workouts. It was, it was wild, man. It was wild. Do you feel like that was almost your coming of age ritual? Like I think in this day and age, like back in the day, you would have been sent out to the woods for three days, no food. You would have had a little vision quest. You would have come back a man. Do you feel like that was kind of your version of a vision quest was doing something like the J Rob 28 day? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. I, I just remember coming back and, uh, and I just had so much confidence against the guys that I, I saw myself, they they say that you you go there and like if you go there as a junior when you come back you're like a senior mm-hmm. you know you get a hundred workouts in which the wrestling season is like a hundred a hundred days mm. so it's like you grow you you um, gain a year of experience in that month and I definitely felt it I felt I just felt like I came back and guys that um, you know if I was having a close match with guys I I w- it wouldn't be close anymore if there were guys that were beating me now it was even. You know, I just stepped up a whole level, and it gave me a ton of confidence. Just, I just saw that, that uh, and I did, I did good when I was there. I was, I was probably one of the I, hard work is something that I was always, you know, never scared of. Mm-hmm. I always embraced working hard, and and uh, yeah, I, I just, uh, I, I think that that was that was huge for me. I think that 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 was the biggest thing, uh, just knowing that I could get through something like that. It had that aura about it, you know. 
So when you were coming up, were there any crazy weight cutting stories? Because I know when I was a kid, I knew a kid, uh, Gerard Gold said this kid would go to Lifetime Fitness and he would sleep in the sauna and he would, his mom would stand outside the sauna and just, and he would, he would put on um, some sort of like Maybelline or something that opened up his pores, put on a sauna suit and just sleep in the sauna. And by the time he would get to the tournament, he was like a bag of bones and he would yeah. always get destroyed his first match. And then maybe as he got hydrated, he would do better. I know there was... Guys that would spit in cups as if that really makes, you know, much yeah, of a difference yeah, yeah. or it's more um, like a mental thing, I think. You yeah. just don't want to like ingest anything at all, even if it's your own saliva or whatever. It's what a what a crazy sport. I think back now it's like, yeah, yeah, do the same thing, like sleeping in a <laughs> garbage, garbage bag. bag and like you're like how disgusting is that? Like like for what? Like I don't know. 